Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome for welcome to this weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Milam. He is Transy Men's Basketball Coach Brian Landon. In case you have not noticed, the season winding down rapidly. After this weekend, only six regular season games remaining. Where are the pioneers right now as we come down this final stretch? Well, we knew coming in into the second half of the season, we were we were in a good spot in, in fourth place and, and battling for the, that top six spot. Uh, this year, more than any year, probably since I've been at Trancy, getting into that conference tournament, mm -hmm. any of those six teams are going to be able to, to really to, to make a run at it. So that, that's what we're up against. Uh, dropped a couple at home uh, against good teams, uh, teams that were ahead of us in the, in the standings, but it was an opportunity to, to, to make up some ground, and we, we didn't do that uh, on last weekend. Obviously, Wednesday night uh, got back in the winning column against Earlham. So, uh, it uh, we have a tough stretch because a lot of the teams that are ahead of us we play on the road. So we're going to have to be able to go on the road and uh, and get us a win. When you look at it, I'm not I try not to get into the past too much. The recent past. Have you thought if we had Boshu, if we had this, if we had that, these guys weren't hurt, where would we be right now? Uh, you know, it's very hard to not. Yeah. Really look at that, but uh, I, I think uh, his surgery went well this this week. I was there after after the surgery, and he was in good spirits. We we uh, the team put him on. We we FaceTimed before the Earlham game, and <laughs> he was sitting there. Uh, he he was trying to figure out his smart TV so he could watch the game. He goes, "I got a smart TV, but a dumb guy." Hey, <laughs> dumb welcome guy. to the club. <laughs> but uh, you know he's he's going to get back in, uh, next year and be be strong, but. We, we were able to get uh, Tim Bickle back right. know, after his concussion. Uh, a slow progress, but, but really is pushing hard to, to get back into the mix. And uh, all, the, the, all the injured guys that we've had, other than Bo, are starting to, to get back to where they're almost uh, ready to practice. When we come back, we will jump into the highlights. We've got a Rose Holman game. We've got an Earlham game. We will also check in on the Lady Pioneers. They had one heck wow. of a finish earlier this week. <laughs> We've got that and a lot more coming your way with Transy Basketball. Lee Rose is a former Transylvania men's basketball coach, exceptional student athlete, Mr. Pioneer, part of a 1958 graduating class. And he has been nominated recently for the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Here's this week's flashback segment about one of the all-time Transy greats. Lee Rose exemplifies excellence in coaching. His experiences as a player and his ethics as a person helped shape him into one of the most successful basketball coaches at any level of all time. Rose was a star basketball and baseball player for Transylvania University. His senior year, he was captain of the basketball team and was an all-Kentucky intercollegiate athletic conference selection. Off the court, he was named Mr. Pioneer, an award given to the outstanding senior on campus. After college, Rose returned to Transy as an assistant basketball coach to C.M. Newton. The best thing he did was, was run a team. And you could tell almost immediately as you watched Lee play the game, he, and he was a fierce competitor, but as you watched him play the game, that he was going to transfer that to his coaching. He really understood basketball. While at Transy, Rose established a tradition of excellence in the program while compiling a sparkling 160 and 57 record over eight seasons. In 1975, Rose accepted the head coaching position at UNC Charlotte. He led the 49ers to the NCAA Final Four in 1977 and received Conference Coach of the Year. Rose then went on to Purdue, where he received Big Ten Coach of the Year after taking the Boilermakers to the Final Four in 1980. Lee Rose is a class person. He's one of the classiest men I've ever known in my life. Really is a super, super person. And he was a great player, and he was an excellent coach. Very few people have taken two different teams to the Final Four, and Lee did. Rose finished out his college coaching career at South Florida for six seasons and then headed for the pros in 1986. Rose was an assistant coach with the San Antonio Spurs, New Jersey Nets, and Charlotte Hornets. He also was director of player personnel for the Milwaukee Bucks. On the international stage, Rose coached three U.S. Olympic basketball teams. It is the college game, however, that suited Rose to a tee, and his record speaks for itself. 
Over 19 years, Rose has over a 70% winning percentage. This guy can really coach basketball. Lee has won at every level. Watching Lee's career, uh, he's been a winner at every level that he's, that he's coached in. So when I think of Lee Rose, I think of a winner. Armed with an unwavering devotion to his principles, Rose taught young men, through his example, that there was more to life than winning games. Lee Rose uh, is a man who has a great character. I think when I think of Lee, he has tremendous character. And he, he's one of the most truthful people that I've ever known. A winner in every sense of the word, Lee Rose is one of the most successful college basketball coaches to ever hail from the state of Kentucky. Many people use sports as a metaphor for life. They talk about running the great race, and they talk about the sprint, or they talk about the marathon. I like to think of it as a relay. And the reason I think of it as a relay is because I think that life is all about people helping you as you try to go through life. And as a coach, you don't win unless you have great players. Uh, there's no coach that wins without great players, and I've been blessed. And I think for <clears throat> you people here and the people that are sitting at this table to understand the, the deep feelings, how proud I am to be a Kentuckian and how blessed I am to be here this evening, I think you would have to climb in my skin and walk in my shoes to have that appreciation. Thank you so much. I'm sincerely humble. Thank you. That was from his 2001 induction into the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame and a uh, Hall of Famer in every sense of like the word. Like we said, during these flashbacks, you're starting to see, those of you that may be new to Lexington, the tradition that we have at Transylvania. Oh, yeah. And just, uh, I mean, Sam Newton's already in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Lee Rose is, is nominated. What an incredible group of, of uh, and a former student athlete at Transylvania. That's, uh, that's awesome. When we come back, we will tell you and show you how the ladies had an incredible win against Earlham earlier in the week. Earlier this week, the Transylvania Lady Pioneers went to Earlham in Richmond, Indiana. Here is a portion of a wild final 50 seconds in this down-to-the-wire thriller. Out of 10, Kalani. With the left hand, we'll find Smith. Shot fake. Smith, 14 feet away, got another roll. Boy, she has come up big here in the second half. Case and Spay with 20.5. You need a quick bucket right here. Franklin back to Spay. Three pointer in the way. Good. Out, of course, the ball taken at the 28 foot line, and the Quakers get it back. Turnover. Here is Spay. Do you want to get it back to Spay? Are you looking for Franklin? Spay out to Flynn. Three-pointer. Good! And so Transylvania, 7.3 to go. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Still loose. And we're down to four seconds. Transylvania may get a look right here. And the three, the buzzer. Good! The three by Rachel Cox as time runs out. And the Quakers will lose this one here tonight. So Caitlin Smith has 28. Rachel Cox with the game winner at what the buzzer. The best, the best one was the pass to Sean. Yeah. And said, okay, you go, you go outrun those three <laughs> girls to get it. And then, boy, they made, made great, great pass. And then making big plays. Rachel. Yeah, that's right. And, and probably the last person you would think to shoot a 20-footer. Uh, a they credited her with the three on the court. They gave her two officially. Either way, Transylvania gets the win. We appreciate you joining us this week. We will join you again next weekend as we talk Transylvania basketball with Brian Lane. I'm Brian Milam. Have a good weekend.